and welcome to my channel. This video I want to dedicate to my progress in Main Street book by Teresa Goodrich. I own a lot of books by Teresa and you know how much I love all of them, but I would say that Main Street is definitely in my top three. I would say that one day I hope to finish this book. Of course, it has some of the designs which inspire me more, some of the designs which are more simple, but I definitely prefer to color landscapes and city scenes created by Teresa. I appreciate that in this book we don't have a lot of people. I don't like to color people or dogs in Teresa Goodrich books, so this book is definitely for my taste. I like that here we have a variety of subjects because we have different shops and of course you have a lot of things to practice when you color in this book. First I was thinking about coloring it in order, but then I decided that it will be much easier for me just to select shops which are uh, interesting for me at the moment and to move in such a way. Here I have my flower shop. I think that I colored it maybe a year ago uh, and I dedicated it to my birthday. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that I need to explain why, because it has so many beautiful flowers and gifts. And here in all this book I try to experiment with various colors for the walls, for the pavement, for the uh, curtains if it's possible. I try to color probably one picture a month. Maximum it's two pictures because when I start to color more I start to repeat myself. But when I make breaks it's easier for me to invent something new. Some new color combos for the wood, for the bricks. So <laughs> the whole book looks more interesting in such a way. So here I have my pink flower and gift shop. Of course here I enjoyed coloring flowers. Usually I use my Prisma colors here and of course I use a lot of Posca pens to mask black lines especially on the plants, on the flowers and also Posca is quite helpful for all glass surfaces to make them more realistic. The next one, it's the only exception which I did with Derwent Color Softs, and it was probably first and last time when I did it. It wasn't bad, uh, and the only problem which I have here for myself is my color choice, which I selected for this canopy. It looks absolutely childish. If I would do this canopy with black and white stripes or maybe totally red with tiny white stripes, it would be better. Now it looks absolutely childish and it's also very bright, so it immediately attracts attention. Well, the rest isn't bad. I even love all those green colors which I used on the uh, name of the shop, on the door. It was difficult to color plants here because you know that in color softs we don't have realistic greens, but for the <laughs> architectural elements it wasn't bad. Color soft they have um, good colors for the bricks, for the wood, their variety of brown, peach, um, sanguine, orange colors. It's quite good for our landscapes, but you know, I think that I it took me two times longer to finish this one comparing to using Prisma colors. So after this one, I happily returned to my Prismas. I believe that this one is on my YouTube channel, so I will leave you a link in the end of this video and you will be able to watch my suffer how I did this one. It's picture which I finished last month and here I really glad that I selected pastel colors for the street behind. I really wanted to create atmosphere of the nice sunny day. I used a lot of very delicate cream colors to show highlights, reflection of the sunshine on all those uh, blue, peach, uh, pink colors on which I selected for the buildings. 
Well, the fresh fruit card, it's also not bad, but I was confused with the structure of this card, how this wheel is standing among all those boxes, and I think that I made color mistake when I selected orange here for the background of the advertisement. Maybe I had to color it in the same muted turquoise as I used it here. But I was afraid that it will be too similar to the color of this building, so I was um, instead decided to use something brighter, and now I'm not sure. But everything else, it's not bad. Well, of course, in this book we have some confusing mistakes in architecture, like I said. Here a very strange wheel of the cart, we can see parts of it, not the other part, and why it's standing somewhere between boxes, it's strange. And another mistake I will show you later, for example, but for me it doesn't matter much, I try not to think about it. That's my recent work, I did it a week ago. And you know, in this book I prefer uh, those streets and buildings, not pictures when we have a lot of similar elements like we have here, shoes. I am much more interested in coloring all those plants, uh, windows, doors, pavement, but here I decided that still it can be a good picture. I tried to divide all shoes in several colorful groups. Well, it's nothing special, but still I'm glad that I finished another one in this book. And I'm especially glad when I managed to finish pictures, which wasn't very inspiring, but in the end the result is quite satisfying and not disappointing, so I'm happy that I did this one. This one is much more interesting, but I save it for me as a gemstone in this book. I will be doing it later. That's the kind of picture which I really love, when you have to think about perspective, about color palette for each of the shops to show uh, character of the shop, what color you would select if, would, if you would be owner of cafe or if you would be owner of the flower shop. I want to enjoy my fantasies and it helps me to select colors for the pictures in this book. That's not the page which I would want to color together with this one. Well, the least favorite pictures in this book. They look too simplified. This one, it's not that bad because at least we have part of the outer part of the windows. And this one definitely will do it in the last way. Here I have my work in progress, which I am currently working on. Again, in the beginning I didn't know how to color it and then I decided to use slightly more darker and reddish color palette for the wood to try new color combo among Prisma color pencils and I really wanted to make it look like very old vintage uh, shop with musical instruments, you know, that I, here I did my favorite part, architectural elements. And I'm glad that I selected a couple of intense colors and they balance together quite well here. So I just need to do my last step and to color somehow all those musical instruments. This one it's in more limited color palette because we have a lot of wood, so I simply had to experiment with different shades for the wood, for the door, for the window frames, and I need something totally different for the wood or musical instruments. And probably the one bright color accent will be these flowers. So I have to select color carefully. Well, what else I have here? Oh, this one I absolutely love. Again, I try to think carefully which color I would select for the design if I would own hair salon and if I would own ice cream. Of course here ice cream is much more interesting shop for me and I think that everything I did here I hope that it looks yummy. I especially enjoyed doing this ice cream. As I said in this book um, Posca pens they are very helpful because I tend to um, slightly change 
shape of flowers to add leaves a little bit so I think that Posca really helps to make this pictures more realistic so I definitely recommend to combine it with prism color pencils and again in this book I really try to think carefully about all the highlights shadows on the street on the pavement on the glass surfaces I think that it's important if you want to color in this book realistically that's one I do love I will do it later this one so so at least we have variety of shop of toys not so boring to color well and this one it was interesting to do and here I tried to again to think which color I would use to show this interesting epicery I was inspired by the shops somewhere in Provence that's why I decided that if we have something like sunflowers here then I can use this warm yellow as a, a main color accent together with olive green it was challenging to color so many different kinds of cheeses and to show that we have variety of them but I hope that I managed this one I also love it's a good one another good one even if challenging I already know which colors I would like to use here but I'm still afraid that um, it will be it will be difficult to show properly play of light and shadows I want to do evening around so a very dark background and a lot of lights surrounding this entrance to the theater it was one of my earlier works and I think that for the antique shop you if you want to create proper atmosphere you have to use a lot of muted and dark colors and I struggled how to show that actually all those things they are behind the glass so I added a lot of those highlights trying to show them together with the highlights inside in the mirror well it was also one of my first works and I still love it a lot again mostly because I think that here I managed to show all those warm highlights from many sources of the light warm light coming from inside the candy corner from these windows so I added all those warm highlights on the walls also here on the street from this lantern we have highlights on the nearest area of the wall it was a long coloring but still I really enjoyed it and I think that it was quite instructive video well this one it's also good and talking about mistakes here if you look at the door and at the carpet the edge of the carpet it's um, the edge of the door it's higher comparing to the edge of the wall they have to be actually on one level and here we have already carpet so it's definitely not good this line it has to be together with this one another mistake I had on this page because column here I hope that you can see here it's flat like the wall and here it's started to be round but I decided that it's not so important for me if I would have paints maybe I would try to change it here I know that I will be changing it so the building will have the same level but for now I definitely will be doing this one because you know that I enjoy to color all kinds of metal things and I love watering cans I have a soft spot for them and I love to practice how to color bricks so definitely I will do this one this one it's not bad but I haven't decided yet which colors actually to use for the barber shop I don't know yet well that's probably my least favorite picture in the whole book I think that maybe here I selected two dark colors and for now this shop it doesn't have, have has depth mm, it 
lost in depth when I used a very dark color for the background and with all those portals. You can see perspective actually from this surface, from this table in front and then to the uh, farther part, farther wall of the shop. Now I can see this problem, but I was so invested into doing these wooden textures in different colors and how to properly show different kind of vines inside of the bottle and glass. So here I was absolutely happy with everything I had. I have on the foreground and even with the sign of the shop. But something in this area, it made the whole page very flat, without depth. But anyway, <laughs> I gained some experience. Oh, it was a beautiful page and uh, here, for example, I more enjoyed coloring everything which we have inside of the shop window. You can see that I repeat myself a lot in the color of wood and walls, so that's why I try to make some breaks between pictures, because I really tend to use the same color palette again and again. But in the end, I think that everything looks very yummy. Uh, I am glad that I did this checkered white and red napkins. I think that they make everything very festive. Uh, this is another one, very interesting but very challenging. I hope that one day I will be able to color it properly. This one is also not bad. I already know which colors I want to use here. Again, I want to do it in some country, Provence style. Maybe a lot of beige colors together with pastel blue and lavender. We will see. The only thing I don't know is... I don't understand the structure of the shop. Here we have beginning of the window. Then we have something standing. Then. So it's a little bit complicated, where are walls, where are windows, so I have to think a little bit more. Shelves going directly behind the cupboard, so it's a little bit confusing, but I will do it one day. Well, this one is also not bad. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful, but I am still afraid doing it. I wanted to do it for the spring because it has tulips, but I still think that I need to find something inspirational. And besides, I have a couple of Instagram profiles with beautiful landscapes and city scenes, where I get a lot of inspiration from all those pictures, photos of beautiful places, mostly in France, in England, and it's really very helpful. Well, this one is so-so. I'm not a big fan of coloring such things. So many bodies, many clothes and nothing regarding the interior designs. Uh, this one is not bad. Well, I would say that um, they are slightly too rough, maybe too simplified and too big, all those lollipops. But I think that I will manage to do it, definitely. I don't know why, but for this one I would like to practice with my alcohol markers. So I will wait a little bit. Maybe because it will be easier to color such tiny things. Maybe alcohol markers, maybe my uh, felt tip pens. So that's why I am waiting. Well, this one it's not bad, but I think that it requires some interesting color palette for the um, music and rock style, so I need something original for this one, not just traditional brown, grey, so I have to think. Well, this one it's very simple and I haven't decided yet how to improve it. Mm, too simple um, front of the shop, too simple flowers. It definitely will require some work to make it more realistic. The perfume shop, which for me it is turned into flower shop because I made very bright flowers here, a lot of very intense and huge roses inside of the shop window and I also added some flowers here to make this flower pot more interesting and more realistic. 
Well, those bottles, again, I divided them into several groups in several colors and I tried to show that they are shiny, they are shining through the glass of the window. So, so, maybe color of the bricks here is too intense, but in the end I am glad that I did it. Oh, this one is one of my most interesting works in this book, because in the beginning I wasn't sure in this strange color for the uh, window frame and for the door, but now I am absolutely happy that I did it. Of course, I was inspired by various tiny craft shops in Provence, where you can purchase anything made with la uh, lavender. And I used to wanted to use this lavender in the design of the shop also. So we have this lavender window, violet lavender door. And I think that it worked really well, especially when I added a little bit of lavender to the garland and used pastel colors for everything else. Here I would say that it's one of my best works regarding these highlights and shadows. I do love to do evening and night scenes in this book. I think that they are more spectacular, more impressive when you have darker background, deep shadows and some highlights, atmosphere of the e evening shopping. I think that it's quite charming. So I'm glad that I did it here. And it was all which I did in this book, I still enjoy it a lot. I know that Teresa recently published some new books, but I'm happy for now with this one. If I manage to purchase um, new books, of course, I will also will color them, but for now I will concentrate on this one and on my older books, because it would be quite nice to have completed Main Street. Well, I hope that it wasn't very boring. Thank you for listening, for watching, and I hope to see you very soon.